Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hot Take, a show where we offer nothing but the most cutting edge opinions all in one take on the first try with zero jump cuts to hide our mistakes. Hit us with that theme song, Steve Zaragoza. Hey guys, I'm Steve, and I, uh, I wrote a theme song actually for this episode. It's something new. It's uh, uh, Elliot hasn't heard it yet. I kind of want it to be a surprise. Anyway, here we go. That's an episode. It's a episode of hot. Now, I know you notice that there's no words, but it's usually because, you know, Elliot just talks too much. Why not take a break, guys? Breathe it in, you know? And hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, because, you know, we need your help. Thank you, Steve. That was super beautiful. In case you missed it, guys, last week's hot take experimented with a serious topic, abortion. Ew! Now, that, gross! And despite all of our best efforts, you guys still enjoyed it. But enough about that, let's talk about something fun. I'm talking about money. Money is so cool, at least I've heard. Now, there are a lot of angles to take with money, and I'll take here on Hot Take One Take to give you that take, which is money, I'll take it. <laughs> I won't fake it, I'll take it, shake it, and is that a bass boat? Because yeah, I'm gonna like it. Mackenzie Bezos, who is getting a divorce from Amazon's own Captain Charisma Jeff Bezos, is giving away half of her fortune to charity. That's give or take $18.5 billion to charity. That means the charity is going to be like so rich. Now, I don't want to math you guys to sleep, but imagine for a moment the charity has zero dollars and people are like, someone should give to charity, but no one wants to because ugh. And then Mackenzie Bezos gives away $18.5 billion to charity. Congrats to charity. That leaves Mackenzie Bezos also with $18.5 billion. And it's just like, Mackenzie, how greedy can you be? Now imagine, if you donated even $1 to charity, assuming charity has nothing, that means the charity as a whole will be richer than Jeff Bezos' ex-wife because of you. That's kind of cool, right? Now, in the description, there's a link to my favorite charity. It's a group called Born to Act Players I started working with at the beginning of this year, and they basically use the performing arts and improv and comedy to enhance the lives of people with learning disabilities. It's super beautiful, and just for fun, I'm going to put the link to Born to Act Players below in the description. Now, you're going to find it actually under the link to my Seattle show on the, at the Fremont Abbey tomorrow night on Friday, May 31st with Mike Falzone. That link is going to be under the link to my comedy show, because uh, priorities. <laughs> Anyway, should have seen that coming. I had this theory that no one really cares about how much money somebody has as long as they pretend not to have it. Similarly, if you have virtually no money, but you're like sophisticated and proper and uppity, we'll call that person like a, I don't know, professor, then people may not, uh, they may not want to hang out with you very much. I'm uh, Professor Joe Beretta, no relation. Really enjoy red wine, NPR, and I've been working on the Large Hadron Collot See, yeah, uh, exactly. It's it's horrendously unlikable. Professors might as well be rich because I can't relate to them anyway. Now compare that to a guy who doesn't seem rich, but he's worth three billion dollars. We'll call that person like a I don't know president. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, hey! What'd you say about a president? Oh, okay, Sarah. I'm so sorry. I was actually just talking about how everyone thinks that people hate the rich, but really, what people hate, I think, is elitism, or at least the the perception of elitism. Mm, yeah, I don't really know what you mean by perception. I don't understand that word. I don't think our president understands that word. I feel like I have said this from day one. President doesn't understand words. Well, Sarah, if I may, it's sort of like I was trying to say about the Large Hadron Collider's perception ultimately hurt most of the research because it was sensationalized. And even though the process we've made is quite unbelievable. Oh my God, I find you so hard to relate to. Yeah. Unlike our president, who's worth around $3 billion. Sarah, I, I don't know how to say this, but honestly, like, I think I agree with you. Whoa, knew you come around, Morgan. Here, have a piece of fake news. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's what the president is calling his new uh, sour gummy candies. They're extra sour because they're made by out of work millennials, or as he calls them, millennials. Wow, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm so welcome. Super excited to try this. Um, do you have any candy for me? No, Professor? I don't, but I am fairly certain that someone on my team is on the verge of overturning certain elements of Einstein's theory of relativity. And you have no candy. No, I gave up candy long ago. It's just salad and granola clusters. You gotta go, dude. Oh my, oh my god. god, this is miserable. This is what I'm saying sure. is wrong with the education system yeah. right here. Oh, actually, I only make 40K a year. Yeah. Oh, what an elitist asshole. Sarah, I'm, <sighs> I'm so sorry. It's all right, man, hey. <sighs> God, good Thank to see you. you. That you. Okay. Just roll time sake. Oh yeah, I actually did feel pretty good. Anyway, uh, thanks for the candy. Anyway, I guess my hot take here is um, nothing special. I think it's just like being rich isn't always about money. You know, the, the trick to being successfully rich is to maintain a persona closer to that of like the working class. The rich get richer not by being rich, but by pretending not to be. And then they can get away with anything. And that new echelon of wealth comes in the form of power, ultimately creating a system of nepotism and corruption that even charity, rich as it may be with all that Amazon money, can't really compete with. Oh my god.
Is, is, is there glass in there? No further questions. No further questions. Where did, where did you find glass? Oh my god! I want to thank Steve Zaragoza, Steve Zaragoza for writing this incredible, uh, tightly written theme song. I want to thank Andrew, Del Andrew Delman for coming in. I had a TA named Charity for he was quite some time. Doing the role now of the professor. Charity I want to thank Lee, from oh. yeah. Kevin, Kate, everyone involved. Do you want me to, should I? I'm going Hot day, hot day, hot day, hot day, hot day, hot day, hot day.